How's it going everybody? So I'm taking a bit of a break from the shop this morning to tell you guys about a new project I'm working on. It's called the Feast Project. And it's a furniture catalog that I'm launching later this summer. Now, I'm actually sitting at the very first table for this catalog. It's called the Watford Table. It's a trestle table in cherry. And after this short introduction, there will be a really cool video uh, featuring this table build. It's actually a promo video for a Kickstarter we're launching to help support this catalog. Now, in that video, there will be a link to the Kickstarter, and this is an opportunity for you guys to get some really cool rewards in return for helping uh, helping support and back this project. Some of the things we're offering are some really cool little uh, walnut coasters that are super handy, a big mesquite cutting board, um, a couple smaller cutting boards here, cheese boards. Uh, I've also got a, a short uh, half day class where you can come to the shop and build a hanging uh, wall shelf. Um, the table itself is up on the Kickstarter. I've got t-shirts and a few other smaller items. So it's a really cool opportunity for you guys to uh, support uh, this, this project and also get some cool items in return. Um, so please watch the video, check it out, click the link, and I really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot. I remember the first real object I ever made from wood. It was a small pine box. In fact, I still have it sitting on the windowsill of my shop. The dovetails are far from perfect and the workmanship is rough, but every imperfection is a reminder to me of why I love this craft. It's the dedication and the discipline to push through and continue to learn, and after 12 years of building furniture, I realize I'll never master it, I'll only pursue it. There are certain items that stay within a family, telling their story, and with each inheritance, they build a new chapter, creating a narrative that becomes priceless to any family. It might be a piece of jewelry, like the pearl necklace that belonged to my Nana and now belongs to my wife. It might be a book or an old tool that was passed down, or more commonly, it might be a piece of furniture. I've read there is a bed in the UK that has slept 15 generations and is estimated to have been built some 400 years ago. Before there was ever a spark of electricity to power sophisticated machines, craftsmen were building furniture with such a high level of durability that it could last 15 generations. It's important to note that there were no screws or mechanical fasteners, just proper joinery and glue made from animal hides. The skills needed to make this kind of furniture with hand tools took decades to master. This early furniture makers developed their craft to the highest level. Unfortunately, in our modern world, we traded these skills for design trends, mass production, and profit margins. The focus has shifted from making something that's beautiful to making something that sells. The result is we are filling our homes with really bad furniture and we don't even know it. Furniture that is destined for the landfill and not to our kids or their kids and so on. We are losing the antiques of tomorrow, and in return, a possible chain that binds the generations of a family together. My mission is to reshift the focus back to quality craftsmanship, and hopefully create durable furniture that's simple in form and guaranteed for a lifetime. In order to do this, I need your support, which helps provide the necessary resources to set the foundation for a catalog of American-made furniture. A foundation built around what I believe is the most important furniture in any home, the dining room table. It's a place where we tell each other about our day, discuss the most important of family matters, or simply where we bring our friends to enjoy fellowship. In a world full of distractions, people need this time together more than ever. That's why I create furniture, to bring people together at a table, which over the years becomes less of a table and more of a family heirloom. So the money raised is going to help us do a couple of things. First it helps pay for a simple e-commerce website that will help promote and directly sell our furniture. Second it helps cover the cost of designing, building, and marketing our very first dining room tables. Now you can learn more about these tables below in our Kickstarter story. The main goal of this Kickstarter campaign is to help get over the initial hurdle of financing the catalog. 
Once we get over that hurdle, our work continues as we design and build more furniture to grow our catalog. Now if this is something you're interested in and you want to get behind, please share our story with your friends and family. Promote it on Facebook, spread it across social media. Your help and your contributions help support a product that is not just a commodity, but a product that is built by passionate craftspeople with beauty and integrity to last a lifetime and more.